Howes inspires me for some really great home decor ideas. This one I especially love because it's a wreath for my front door. And not only is it going to be beautiful and welcoming home that way, but it really provides a really fresh aroma. There are a few key ingredients to making a wreath. One is a wreath form. You can get it at any craft store. Really easy to find. Another is bind wire. I like to use 24 gauge because it's just strong enough to hold everything together. Clippers are very, very important. Get some that are sturdy because you are cutting some woody items here. Now the four items that I'm showing you here are the fragrant ones. They're my favorite. They're the real core of this arrangement. I've got some oregano, some rosemary, lavender, and bay. Besides the four herbs that I've got here for fragrance, I'm also adding in other colors and other textures. I'm adding in some berries, and I'm also adding some seed pods, as well as other fluffy evergreens and flowers. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your wreath frame and your bind wire. You attach it to one place, and you only have to cut your wire once. You're gonna attach it about right here on one of the middle rings and make sure that it secures very, very tightly because you're gonna be pulling on this. Now that you've got that secured, you're gonna start making mini bundles and you're gonna work around your wreath from there. I like to vary each of my bundles and I like each of them to be a little bit different, although the consistency remains in the, in the plant choices. I'm only sticking with maybe six different plants or so here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> I'm gonna set it on top right where the wire was started and cover up the frame. Then I take my bind wire, give it a good tug and wrap it around once. I'm gonna wrap this around twice just for good measure. There, you've got your wreath started. I'm gonna rotate my bundles from left to right to make sure that I cover this wire frame. You don't wanna see that at all. I'll start to pull in some of the other plants that I've gotten but always keep the consistency of my herbs as the main players here. I'll add a berry or two. Notice that each little handful is like its own bouquet. So what you do next is you set this bundle on top of your previous bundle, cover up the bottom of the stems, wrap it around once or twice with the wire very, very tightly. You wanna make sure that the wire is tight because you don't want it to fall off your door. Also, greens tend to shrink a little bit as they dry. That's another reason you should really have your bundles very, very tight. This is a 12 inch wreath, and that takes about 12 bundles or so to get around the perimeter of the wreath. Again, really tight and really snug. As you can see, it's moving along really nicely, and there's just a little bit more to go. So I'll continue to make my bundles. I'm nearing the end. I like to clump my uh, color together. If you put one piece of lavender there, you might not be able to see it. So I'm gonna clump it in groups of three or more. That way, the color stands out a lot more than if it's on its own. You don't have to worry about perfection with these bundles. You can really make it wild and crazy. Don't worry about lining up all your plants in one row. In this arrangement, I'm adding a few scabiosa pods, but really any pod will do. You could do succulents, you could do air plants. You could do tiny little pumpkins, whatever's in season and works. You'll see here you have the stems sticking out. You wanna make sure you cover those up. So on the last bundle, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna lift this part up a little bit, stick my next group of stems underneath so they're hidden. I usually like to make my last bundle a little bit bigger. You don't want to see the wire either, so we want to make sure that the wire is tucked underneath all the extra leaves. And there you have it, your incredible fragrant wreath. I hope you're inspired to create a wreath for any season, and for more videos like this, go to house.com.